my continued silence over such grave occurrences continues to cause unnecessary confusion and anxiety among my supporters and the UDA party members, while it could also be wrongfully construed as an admission of guilt. In this regard, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to state as follows. One, that as I lighted above, my alleged removal as UDA Secretary General was outright unlawful, unfair, and a sheer blatant contravention of the party constitution and laid down processes. Sadly, this coup was plotted and executed by senior party officials who are otherwise expected to protect and uphold the same constitution. Neither were any charges preferred against me in public or private to warrant and justify my removal, nor was I given an opportunity to defend myself as required by law and the rules of natural justice. I was convicted and sentenced without trial because my aggressors had nothing against me. To the extent that none of them could sign and debt the statement that purportedly communicated my ouster. That this coup was plotted and orchestrated by two senior party officials alongside others within the party secretariat. These senior officials are Mrs. Cecil Mbarire and Mr. Kimani Ichungwa, MP for Kikuyu constituency.